Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and before I go off to work uh, for my late shift, I want to make the second video that I had planned ahead of the release of Mortal Kombat 1 this Thursday and that is checking out all fatalities and x-rays in Mortal Kombat X. And we had already checked out all the fatalities, uh, x-rays plus stage fatalities and fatalities for Mortal Kombat 9 a couple of days ago. Um, and there I said we'll be doing the same thing for this game now as well. Um, unfortunately, the video I'm using now does not include the DLC characters, which are actually insane. Like, we got Alien in there, Jason, Larryface, uh, Predator, and three others. Um, so that would have been a really cool roster, but um, unfortunately they are not included in this video. And every other video I'm trying to find with these fatalities is age restricted you know this video apparently which the majority of people used to react to i got told um is not um but all the others are so i was like you know what um before we go into any trouble with that we just leave it out i was told it's it's what you would expect right like uh, you know apparently you're doing the face thing let it move a chance so you know it's it's okay to keep it out okay what we have here is um, more than enough, I was told, and very entertaining on its own. So honestly, let's stop the talking and let's get entertained by some more creative fatalities and x-rays. I'm really excited for it, you know that. So let's check it out. I'm generally intrigued to see how it will be here. I was told that for this game, they were very, very dark in terms of, like, brutality. So, let's go for it. Goro. Okay. Okay. Simple start, just rips the throat out and whatever and then tips him over. Bit more humorous. Mmm, leg strength. Giving Sonya a run for her money, okay? Okay, okay. But if the UK ones were simple. I've seen crazier in MK11. Raiden. <laughs> the fucking eyes. Okay. Right now I hate Raiden so much because right now I'm stuck into tutorials in MK11. I have two more combos to do and one of them includes Raiden. You probably know which one I mean. Okay. <laughs> a good measure of Thundershock, okay. You know which one I mean, right? The one with the corner combo? That one and the perfect block counter on Scarlet with Baraka. These two have been... Mm. What? Okay, that looked very cartoonish. <laughs> the way it just flopped open. I know this game is unrealistic, but even that was very <laughs> realistic for FK standards. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the pose at the end to cut it off. Jax. Are all his fatalities with arms? Oh, so he looks so different in every game. Oh shit, okay, star points, star points. Okay, okay, this one's... this one's cool. Mm. Mm. Anything with bones is... Ah. This case, ribcage. That's brutal. Simple, but brutal. I like it. Sonya. Smoke grenades. <laughs> Why even bother with the grenade then? If it's not even going to trigger. <laughs> if you're just going to use your drone anyways. She has some crazy ones in MK11 though. I, by the way, have yet to see... I think a good 90 per... <laughs> good 95% of them in MK1. So expect to react for that as well. Okay, that one was... Sure. Mmm... Whoa. Okay, that one is. How did he not? What? How did he not slice his hand open there? But that one was very dope. That was very stylish. No! 
Damn. Okay, Kenshi is a fucking styler. His ones are gruesomely beautiful in some way and very artistic. Ooh. <laughs> that one was also very dope. Some of them have this kind of beauty to it, you know? Especially Kitana with her, you know? Very dope. That one's a bit simpler. That was a bit more, you know? The, fir the first one was a bit more beautiful, and this one was a bit more... ...brutal. Scorpion. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know why, but everything looks so glibberish, if that makes sense. Like the organs and everything. I guess that's just the style of the game, but that was a very cool one too. Visually very powerful. I dope. Combining to get over here with the sword. Nice, nice, nice. Sub zero. Mmm. <sighs> Jesus! Damn! We just... Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Adding eyeballs is always... You know, it, it always makes it much more brutal. Okay, Melina. Ooh. Damn, that's disrespectful as hell. Just brutally rip your head off and just eat your face away. Damn. This one is so simple in idea, but it's so terrifying. To just be eaten apart a lot like that. You know what I mean? It's so simple, but like so. Ooh! Sort of effective. Okay, Takeda. Cleaning the, the inner parts for a moment. What even, what even does he have there? Ouch. What even are those things he got there? Looks like a hook of some sort. Okay. <laughs> Is that the first game where Cassie was in? That was very simple though. Just two, three shots and you know, the, the bubblegum sells it. Sheesh! Oh my god. What? Nah, so that's actually in the game like that? Okay. The first one, like mentioned, was very simple and was sold by the, the bubblegum, but this one? It's, it's, ultimately it's really just, just one hit, right? But like... That is so creative. And fits a character so much. <laughs> I wonder, that selfie though, I wonder if these are always, I blame John, oh my god. I wonder if these comments are always the same or depending on who you're fighting against differently. You can't post. <laughs> okay, that is really, really funny. That is really, really funny. Wait, what was the last one? There was another one I couldn't see right away. Disgraceful. <laughs> I think that's Jackie. Fish. Yeah, fast and simple. Fatality. Again, there goes so much into a fatality. The process itself, what's left over afterwards, like how the fatality end screen looks like and everything, you know. This one also rather simple, just the fist through the face. But I kind of loved it so much, the beauty of fatalities. It's such a, you know, cool concept. 
All right. Ooh, that's a nice detail with the blood slowly dropping down there. That was nice. Damn. Yeah, that's um, somewhere just very stylish like that. Brutal on execution, but then the end result is just very, you know. What the hell? <laughs> Shinnok, okay. Again, I'm not familiar with all characters, but damn Shinnok, that was... That was something. Okay, that's so simple. Again, you just grab him and just, you know, do this. You just blop it up. Mm. Fucking Kano. Okay. Okay, simple enough. That sells it. Okay. The way they then, you know, just drops on top of them, that, that one was cool. But again, Kano's ones are never really that crazy. It feels. <laughs> and on the other end, we have Johnny Cage, who always has a fucking highlight. Here's Johnny. I'm surprised it took them that long to do that one, huh? Also very simple, but it works with Johnny a lot. Okay, that first one was fucking great. Johnny has so many incredible fatalities, it's crazy. Aaron? Hmm. Is sand grenade? Okay. But also visually very cool. Really? I, I guess the end result looks kind of cool, but again, some of these fatalities are just, you know, just some gunshots, you know? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, shit. Ermac. Damn, it was disgusting. You see, you have cool shit like this, and then you have one where it's just a few gunshots. Like, what the hell? Cool. How's the how's the head entirely clear though? How's it not full of blood or organs or whatever? <sighs> Maybe clean it off mid air. Is that Shao Kahn? Looks different. Okay. Gold Khan, okay. Brutal but effective, okay. Or like simple but brutal and effective that way. Oh, that's a beer rock. <laughs> oh shit. There's a wrestling move called the beer rock too, I think, you know. I don't think that would happen if they tried to do that, but yeah, it's powerful. The Wara? No, that's Reptile. Hmm. Okay. The head splitty. Alright. Uh, anything with acid is... Damn, yeah, okay, that one is dope, though. Basically getting rid of everything straight away while keeping the head as a snack. Dope. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Damn! Ferrothor? Damn, Nunu and Willem looking different. <laughs> Who the hell are these two? Have they been in games before? But it's a cool idea to have like, you know, the giant and the little one. That's the Vora. The Vora's so disgusting in, in, in 11. Ah. Oh. Bora. 
the disrespect for kick to wrap it up, okay? All is victory. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Just mashing them together, okay? The thing is, though, so, fatalities like these, I feel like could work for many characters, you know? I feel like the ones where you really feel like they can only work for that specific character are always the coolest ones. Oh, shit, that's... Oh! Okay, that was dope. Oh, that one was cool. She basically walked them into their own demise, dope. Oh my lord. Damn. Very stylish. I've used this word so much, but it just it just, it just suits so much too. What? Didn't we have Sub Zero earlier already? I think we did, right? Oh, that was Scorpions. Yeah, that was Sub Zeros. 1375. Was it like an additional bonus one? I think I had that in MK9 already, where some had three fatalities and some didn't. Maybe it's just a bonus one because it's very simple, obviously, you know? Just, just a single slash. I think that's one of the originals, so. Huh? Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, I didn't think it was included in this video though. The faction kills. Or... Okay, if these are a bit simpler, I might as well speed up a little. Yeah, these are very simple. I heard. More faction kills coming soon. Okay, now the X-rays. Okay, the faction kills. The, the faction kills were very disappointing, huh? Okay, though, now the X-rays. Were, those are spe especially great. Mm. The Scarcracker. Mmm! Holy shit, wait, what? Triple X-rays? Again, those used to be the Fatal Blows, so... Like, the Fatal Blows were the X-rays ones, so... Oh... But I'm guessing, yeah. Oh my god, he power bombs him. Oh shit. With the with the suplex. She checks. Ah. Uh, uh. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I, I've said it before. Anything where you can see like the bones really crack hits me more. Oh. Yes, these these are somehow much more effective. <sighs> Especially with the rapid speed we have here. <sighs> yeah, anything with neck especially is mm. Alina. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. I should have expected that. It did hurt to watch, I, I totally agree, whoever you were. Yeah, I'm not surprised it's the most replay part either. <laughs> Anything with balls is... Damn. Mm. Oh, they, okay, that's sick. To just keep the arrows like that. Slap of doom. And good measure. Oh, 
Oh my lord! What was that Kano slash more brutal than in Fatality I've seen on him? Actually, it's a very cool with the headbutts in MK11. Let's not totally, you know, talk badly of it, but <laughs> the kick, of course. Man, I'm still, I'm still laughing about the Johnny one. Again, some are humorous, some are. Oh, I'm guessing this a day for any character on there he's shooting up against. That's cool. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, the x-rays are generally more brutal. Again, the fatalities for B are much more sometimes about creativity, artistry, or humor. And the x-rays are just, are just generally about fucking, you know, making you cringe. And it works. The fucking kid. Again, I have no clue about these characters. I have no idea where they come from. Or if they are from... Are they DLC characters? I don't think they are. They must be, please. Hmm. What? <laughs> okay, that's a cool special expert. Where did he get these skulls from? I mean, he probably has a couple of them in his basement, but... Oh, what? I think we're done. Okay! That was really fucking entertaining. From start to finish, this was really, really fun. There were so many good ones. Again, there were many, many where once again say, yeah, that's a bit uncreative. Or like, you know, we've seen that before. You know, it's nothing It's nothing new. Obviously, uh, this is not like the 10th game, right? After 10 games, you know, coming up with new and creative fatalities is always difficult. Even though they definitely did that in MK11. And from the couple I've seen from MK1, the new one, um, you know, they're still alive and kicking. Um, once again, the x-rays were much more brutal and got me much more. Especially, especially the one here. Do you ever want to watch it again? <laughs> like, it, it sells it so much with the guy afterwards saying that hurt to watch. Oh, Jesus Christ. The way she just squishes them. Oh, man. Goddamn Cassie. Um, but yeah, that was really freaking fun. Again, the Johnny one especially was really hilarious. There were some other very cool ones in there, you know, that like looked visually very dope or were like very brutal, you know. Again, Modern Combat and the Fatalities, it's really a uh, universe of its own. It's, you know, some people are so grossed out by it and everything, but I'm always like, you know, I'm just fascinated by it, you know. That's why, that's why I love horror movies so much, especially the gory ones. I feel like, you know, you can just, you can just throw in gore and that's it. But like, if you do it in a, in a specific way, it like feels like very, very entertaining in a cool way, you know. So they definitely achieved that once again, the very, very good ones in here. Um... I guess I can end it here now. Um, once again, we will be playing MK1 on um, early access release day on September 14th. This first day live on stream. I'm so excited for it and hope I see you there. If not, I hopefully see you for some YouTube videos about it a couple of days afterwards. But for now, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Like if you enjoyed it. Tell me your favorite um, fatality down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoyed what I'm doing. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and support me. It would help me a lot. See you guys soon with the MK1 release and many, many other videos on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you soon.